So, your wife is always angry with you. What are you supposed to do with that? Especially when you don't agree. I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And you know, if your wife is always angry with you, it is a real bummer. It, it makes your life very complicated. It f makes you feel like no matter what you do, you're gonna be wrong. And so why do anything? Which again, will also get you into trouble, right? So how can you get out of this? And the first thing I want you to know is, I get it. It isn't fair, right? She appears to be cherry picking some information. I was just having a conversation with a client earlier today and he was in exactly that same place and um, she was really upset about something and she just basically did one of those always never kind of comments. It's like, you never support me. Factually incorrect, but in the moment, it doesn't matter. So the goal, the way to disarm your wife is to follow a very particular position, right? It is important to hear what she has to say. Not agree with it, but you cannot, you're, you're completely stuck if you don't fully understand where she is. Now, a lot of times what happens is, is that incidents build on incidents, build on incidents till she's just paying attention until she's just paying attention to anything negative. By the way, that's the human condition, right? We are, we are wired to pay to atten pay attention to the things that can hurt us. Now you are not a, a, a lion chasing her through the jungle. Okay. That's not what's happening, but her emotional response is based on that. And if you try, to correct her, point out where she is mistaken, I got a question for you. How's that working? Because if you're like most people, it just makes the situation worse. Now, I get it. It is not fair. Let go of fair and start looking at what works. Because the way in which you can disarm her is to listen and then if at all possible find one part of what she says that you can agree with because I'm going to tell you if you tell her you know on this point absolutely 100% I have been doing that you're going to take the wind right out of her sails now, what this does is one gives you a, a common ground to actually start a real conversation. As I said, it also takes the hot air out of her balloon. But what it also does is that it gives you the opportunity to start building capital so that when you want to either point out the inaccuracies or maybe some something she's not paying attention to <clears throat> or you have a request of a change in her behavior as well you will be coming at it from a stronger position now i get it's not fair <clears throat> but for those of you who live in north carolina you know that fair is it happens in october on hillsborough street that's the only fair that's the state fair by the way that's the only fair that exists. Fair gets us into trouble, right? Fair serves as a barrier to our moving forward and doing what works. Why should I have to do this when, when, when she doesn't? This is what a hero does. They step up, they stay calm, and they lead people out of danger. And your wife constantly being angry at you is dangerous to your marriage and I get it it's not fair um, I get it that sometimes it, you know, sometimes it doesn't make sense sometimes it feels like no matter what you say you're in a no-win situation got it so this is why I'm suggesting that you listen 
for places where you can say, okay, I could stand to improve on that, absolutely. And you stay in that. But what happens is, is if you come back with anything else, you're just fanning the flames and feeding the fire. She's not going to feel heard. And by the way, her feeling heard, even if you don't agree, because let me tell you, understanding somebody's position does not mean you agree with it. But when somebody feels heard, it opens them up to being able to hear. If I have not been heard, I'm going to be yelling, screaming, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to be listening to you. But if I feel heard and validated in at least one place, even if it's very, very small, it opens the door to better dialogue, better understanding, and a better marriage. So if you'd like to learn more about this, please get in contact with me and believe me, it will shift, but somebody's got to step up first. If you found this helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Please share it with people that you know who could benefit from it, because you never know who might need this advice. And if you have any questions, and if you want to change this dynamic in your relationship, I invite you to get in touch with me. You can send me an email. You can send me a direct message. You can call me, but don't sit and stew about this, okay? Because the longer this goes unaddressed and the continuing anger on her part, the more damage is being done to your relationship and I don't want that for you. So hopefully this has been helpful and until next week, stay loving.